that's what we're trying to do. And for Ukraine to finish this war, we have to make sure that the fighting stops and we help rebuild for you. And I just announced, I know this is not for you, but $25 million to help Ukrainians who are in need, who have been affected by this war. I have spent over the last nine months a lot of time with victims of war crimes because they're everywhere. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the meeting this morning? I had a meeting this morning with three women who were victims. And I said to everyone when I walked in the door, I could see pain all over their faces. I could see hurt in their eyes. Uh, there was no joy there. And then I heard their stories and I understood why uh, they could express no joy. Uh, because was there one that stuck with you? There was one who's... Uh, I'm sure they all... <laughs> they all stuck with me, but there was one in particular, uh, a young woman who was a humanitarian. She was working for the Red Cross. She was helping people. She's still helping people. Uh, and then she was taken uh, by the Russians, and she was tortured. Uh, she could not describe what she went through. I can't imagine what the rest of the story is, I heard what she was able uh, to share, that they beat her. She had back issues because of the beatings. Uh, I could see that uh, there, there was damage to her fingernails. Uh, so she stuck out to me because what she asked me was if I could ask for support to get civilians out, that there were efforts being made to get soldiers who were being held by the Russians. Can you please ask our government and others to work to get civilians out? So in her pain, mm -hmm. in her suffering, she, she was still thinking about how she could help other people. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.